Hey, in this video, I talk about conversational AI and I show you how I'm setting it up inside High Level and how I use custom values uh, inside the workflows to make it really easy for you to set up your AI or your conversational AI inside of High Level. Now, I have another video uh, coming where I'm going to talk to you about the AI employee, AI agents. That's a completely different video. This one is just the workshop that I did on conversational AI and how you can replicate it inside your business. The first thing we're going to focus on is the conversational AI workflows, because not everyone's going to want to do uh, voice AI or the AI employee, which people are going to adopt it at different time frames. At a minimum, you should be using conversational AI. And so we're going to talk about that. I'm going to share our workflows and show you how we use them and, and how you can use them too. Teresa, the AI employee does various things kind of like the lead superstar of that is voice AI because of well the ability to speak to someone but as with everything level does it's going to have like the skateboard platform meaning they will continue to improve and iterate on it the way they have done with all kinds of other things like their websites and their funnels and their workflows and their calendars and so forth so AI is at the beginning stages for high level but they are committed to like dominating it and I have no doubt they will because of what they've demonstrated that they dominate on everything else. The cost of AI employee is $97 per sub account that uses it. We can talk more about that later and why they're doing that. You can choose a per usage uh, uh, plan that is just like pay as you go and cost per minute or cost per function or a flat fee of $97. We'll get in more into that later. High level has a promo actually that's coming out with the uh, for the next month and a half where it's completely free. So you can test it out. Uh, what's your most successful AI implementation that you are selling today? Cindy, I would say the most successful AI implementation that we have going at the moment is, is from the business that we had acquired because for the chiropractors, it is, it is doing the things that an employee would do. It is answering questions. It is booking appointments. It is helping convert more prospects to, to customers or patients. We just go pop right into the automation. So here I'm in a snapshot that we created called AI Snapshot Pro, and we have our standard stuff, our appointment bookings, our feedback and reviews. Actually, we have three different types of feedback campaigns, and we've got uh, you know, review campaigns. We've got admin stuff. We've got database reactivation, all, all the like standard SaaS things that we do in our agency. And then we've got the conversational bot. And so this has been made really easy for you all, for someone who's starting out, because We've put everything in custom values. So for example, when we pop in here, just to like show you, we've got all this stuff. Uh, if you were to click into AI, the conversational AI, you don't actually have to put all this stuff in the workflows because we've put it in custom values. So for example, we've got some more people. Let's see, admit. And if you go to settings, now you can do this differently, but by putting it in custom values, you only have to put it in there once and then just put that custom value in the workflow. So let's see. We go to folders, conversational AI bot. So here are all the custom values. So for example, let's go to, um, you know, booking confirmation, booking for, uh, bot personality. So if you just come in here and you hit edit custom value, then you can put the bot's personality right here in the value. Now, one of the things that we've done to help people out who are like our affiliates or a part of our program is giving them a bot. Um, and if you're one of my clients, you know, I have this, let's make sure that you get it, but a prompting guide, right? So they'll be like baseline prompts for you to use. And you can put here in the custom value of the bot personality, but then you can also use the prompting guide to kind of guide how you would want the different things to be, whether it's booking confirmations, bot additional instructions, you name it. So now, you know, those are in custom values. We're going to go back to the workflows. So let's do SMS conversational AI with follow-up. And honestly, these are the same thing. It's just this one is, has a follow-up. So I'll just show you the base one first, and then we'll go into that. So examples of trigger that might trigger this action. A form is submitted, whether it's a TikTok form, any kind of other form you might create, or a Facebook lead form. Someone comes in, and there's going to be an SMS initial response, right? So again, this is a custom value. Go in the custom values. What do you want the bot's initial response to be? Like, hey, thanks for this, or what do you need? And then we're going to wait for a contact reply. Okay, 
So we're going to have the bot send the initial message that it sends out. We're going to wait for a contact reply and we're going to time it after one day. So the bot does reply or if there is a reply, then the bot is going to more people coming in. Right. So the instructions that you would normally put in the workflow that again, you can put in the workflow if you want, you could simply put in custom values. So, and, and you'll see there's a lot of repetitiveness here where we use the same thing over and over. So the bot personality, the bot instructions, whatever you want the bot instructions to be, and then the qualifying questions. So based on those prompts, then we've got conditions. We've got the three different branches. So we've got either no condition met or it times out or the question was answered. So based on those things, like if it was no condition met, we have a wait step and a go to that's going to go back to the bot instruction again. If the question was answered, then like if it times out, it just times out. Oh, more people coming. The bot, if the question was answered, then the bot has more instructions. Again, no conditions met, times out a, uh, actually this one here. So the same thing, bot personality, bot instructions, bot qualifying questions. Again, looking to see no conditions met, timed out, or if the question got answered. So essentially back to the top, the bot sends an initial message, someone answers. When they answer, then the bot is going to then give the next um, engagement based on whatever you're telling it to do with the bot's instructions. Now, in this case, we have it as a booking bot. So now we've got the bot booking with additional and then booking questions. And then we've got a second version of that. So there might be additional booking questions. So speaking of questions, I'll stop in a minute. Do you all have any questions before I show you the follow-up version of this? Uh, okay, no questions. All right, so we're gonna move on. on. <laughs> yep, go ahead. Um, if you get a new client on board, would you recommend to create a form for all those custom values from your client that they can can go over together with the client or let the client do that by himself to fill out all those custom values that automatically update? You absolutely can. Just with a form and then let them fill it out or you do it together and then automatically update them. Yeah, you could do that to help dial in the your client's AI bot. Is what you mean? Mm -hmm. For the bot personality and all that stuff? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. 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 So this is this is the exact same workflow now with follow up. So now we've got a split here. The initial SMS message goes out, and again, it's a custom value. What's the initial message? We're gonna wait for contact reply, and now uh, we have added a timeout with a follow up. So if the timeout happens over, um, hold on, one day, then we're gonna come down this channel over here. Hold and then we've got follow-up instructions. Again, pop personality, bot instruction, and ask any relevant questions you haven't asked yet. We've got the different branches, no conditions met, the bot has timed out, or the person replies this as their first reply, or the person has asked, answered, sorry, the person has answered this particular qualifying question. So on all those scenarios, which are down here, those are different branches. Based on what happens on each of those branches, then you'll see that it goes somewhere else. So either it times out, you know, and now this would be the second timeout, um, and then we're not going to do anything, or no conditions met. We're going to go back here, or the person responds. And let's say the person responds with no conversation history, then we're going to take them over here and start the conversation that we initially would have had. Or the person answered the qualifying question, then we're going to take them over here and continue with this. Is this making sense? So, all right. Yes. Great. I realize for some people, they may be like, oh, this is complicated. I'm not sure. Um, hopefully it's not. But the cool thing is, is like in a scenario like this, you don't really have to understand all of the workflows. You just have to fill out the custom values. And then, you know, the bot does the thing. And it, if, the, if you want to dial in that bot, you just dial it in at the prompts at the custom values. Okay. Oh man, thank you for all the messages in the chat. This is exciting. Okay. Now the rest of these are pretty much the same thing. So it's a lot of copy and paste or, or duplicate the workflow. So here's a Facebook conversation. We'll just go to follow up. The, the difference is that we've got a different trigger. We've got someone else coming in. Thank you, Dana. We've got, you know, the trigger is different. It's Facebook Messenger. So the reply panel is Facebook Messenger. Everything else is pretty much the same, except we're going to change the, you know, this isn't an SMS. Now this is a Facebook Messenger message. 
right? So you're going to have a different action here, but we're still going to have the initial message that goes out. And then you're going to want to make sure that when you're replying, that you're going to choose what channel you're replying on. So in the other one, it was SMS. Here, it's Facebook. But as you can see, most everything else is the same. No condition met, bot times out, customer answered the question. We're still using bot personality, bot instructions, bot qualifying questions. So by and large, this is mostly the same workflow. We just have to make sure that the trigger is the right trigger and that the and that we're responding in the right channel. Anna, do you want to add? I'm, I'm sure that I probably maybe made me miss something. And if so, do you want to? No, I think you've got it so far. But yeah, if I think of anything, I'll chime in. Okay. Message me directly. Okay. Let's see. So this is same thing. Uh, Instagram as opposed to Facebook. So reply channel Instagram. Hopefully you all see in a pattern here. I'm going to click one of these. We're going to go down here. Reply channel Instagram. Everything else is pretty much the same. And then we've got live chat. Watch how complicated this is. Trigger, reply channel, live chat conversational AI, personality, questions, answer the customer's question. That's it. Let's see. Missed call text back. So you, you all are familiar with missed call text back, hopefully. When you turn missed call text back into missed call text back with AI, now it's not just sending a message that says, hey, Jill, sorry, we missed your call. What can we help you with? Now it's an actual conversation engaging them where Jill says, oh, well, this is what I need. Now, rather than sitting in someone's conversation channel, waiting for someone else to reply to it, You've got the bot engaging with them, and it's a really simple workflow. It's, you know, hey, this is ABC Plumbing. Saw we missed your call. How can we help? We're going to wait an hour for a timeout, and then uh, the, if the person has responded, we're going to just, like, personality, instructions, answer the questions, and there you go. Pretty simple. Well, let's see. This is just if someone books an appointment, we're going to remove them from this. So, um Okay, we've used 23 minutes right now, or really less than 20 minutes talking about this. Are there any more questions about this where I like move on to something else? Because I also want to talk about just how you present it to customers or prospects and some other things. Let me see. How is this better than using conversational AI V2? Honestly, Aaron, it's this is just to keep it as simple as possible. High level is rapidly moving and rapidly evolving. So as it is, we are as well, like with the voice agents, AI agents and voice AI and so forth. So, um, yeah, I'm sure you'll see adjustments coming from us as well as other agencies that are using it. But right for right now, what I want to show people is just a really simple way to do it. So they don't have to worry about all the other things. You could just simply answer custom values and, and have it all work. Just in general, customers being problem aware and solution aware. So um, I won't go down a rabbit hole on this, but a lot of customers are not are not problem aware because they may not think that they have a problem or maybe they have a problem, but they're not solution aware. But just really quick, problem aware is, is as simple as how do people search and how do people buy? So when you are engaging a prospect whether it's one-on-one -on -one, in a demo on a webinar, you can take them through the cycle of when you need something, where do you search for it? And, you know, just someone shout out, when you need something, where do you search for it? Anyone? Google. There we go. So does everyone else. And when you are on Google, do you ever go past the second page? Well, not anymore. Not anymore. Well, I mean, now it's a long first page, but most people <laughs> like on the first page. And it's because we're, most of the business goes there. So how do you choose which business you're going to use? Anybody? Everyone's so quiet. Best reviews. There you go. Best reviews. And it's fair to say that there's going to be a good number of people on the first page, two or three or four, that that have a lot of reviews and look, you know, so whoever appears to be most trusted in the space. Is it fair to say you might reach out to a couple of people? Yep. And of the few people that you reach out to, which one do you go with generally? The one that gets back to you. The one that gets back to you first. All those things are just core SaaS elements. High level can do all these things, but when you take a prospect through that journey without telling them you need to this and we do reviews, right? Then they're thinking about, oh, these are this is how people search for my business as well, right? Without you having to tell them. And so it's, uh, you know, that's problem aware. Now, solution aware is, okay, here we have a system that can do all these things, but now we have AI and you can show them. And, uh, you know, people are scared of AI. I shouldn't say scared of AI. Uh, AI is, I think the biggest revolution since the internet itself. Internet has changed the world. AI is now changing 
how the internet changed the world. And there's no question that internet, the AI is here to stay is only going to get better. So businesses that people are scared, you're right. You're like, oh, AI is going to take over, but it's, it's here and there are people can use it for bad and there are people who use it for good, but businesses will have it like they have an email address or like they have a website. It's just how long it takes them for adoption. So some people have heard me say this before. I've been around since the internet came about. I remember when that was. I also remember when people started taking payments online. And I was one of those people that was like, I'm not putting my credit card in the computer. No way. Right. And now everybody has my credit card. High level has my credit card. Amazon has my credit card. Just got some Birkenstocks yesterday. They got my credit card. Like everybody does. And so AI is the same way. It is, it is here and it's here to stay, mm. but the businesses who adopt usage of it first and quickly, they're going to gain market share because of mm-hmm. what you can do with AI with high level to help them have, you know, never miss a call again and have the AI engage with those phone call, whether it's a phone call or a text to either um, start the conversation, set the appointment, make the sale, et cetera. And so the thing is, is how do you convince them. There are going to be a couple of things I want to show you that we use that'll be helpful to you. Uh, but I do want to tell you in full transparency, I have a, an affiliate link here. You don't have to use it, but I want to show you something that I think is like the, the coolest tool going to help share and show um, how to sell this. So I'm going to pull up a screen for bot mockups. So this is my bot mockups account and bot mockups is not live yet, but I'm told the soft live, which I was told last week it would be up. And there were a couple little things they had to make adjustments to, but I am using it and I know it is live. So the bug things that they're doing, I shouldn't say bugs. Yeah. Anyway, they're doing some things to make sure everyone gets signed on smoothly, but I'm going to show you some examples of how you can set up really quickly uh, a demo to show prospective customers how AI can help their business. So I'm going to use this example of a bakery down the street from me. A few weeks back, I went down to see them just to get some bakery items and uh, I called and they didn't answer. And so my, my wife wanted me to go down there and get them. I was busy doing stuff. And, and so I called them again. They didn't answer. My wife said, just go down there. So I, I went down and I, and I got there and on the door, it said open from 7 a.m. till 2 in the afternoon. And it was like 11 and they were like sold out. And so um, basically I went into a conversation with them about, you know, I called, you didn't answer. And they're like, oh, we're too busy. We had a line out the door. And I found that they were undermanned, uh, understaffed to be able to handle the phone calls and to help answer questions. So I'm helping Jeff develop bot markups, just giving him feedbacks. And I was like, all right, Jeff, how would this work? How can I show them? Because I told them, here's another crazy funny thing is I said, well, you know, I do this stuff, you know, with AI and it, here's what it can help your business. And they said, do you have a website? I said, no, I don't. And they said, do you have a business card? And I was like, actually, no, I don't. And they're like, who's this crazy guy who's saying he can do this stuff, but he doesn't have a website, doesn't have a business card, doesn't have anything to give us. So I said, well, I just sold my SaaS company. Like it just got acquired. We serve chiropractors. And so I, you know, like that, I don't have anything to show you because I just sold it. They said, okay, well, you know, give us your email. We'll be in touch. Well, I went back the next day with this. And with mockups in five minutes, I was able to put in their website URL and uh, give it some prompting. And let me see how this works. Conversational. Hey, can I help? We have an overview. We have details. Where's the prompting? Let's see. I'm still getting used to this. Here we go. So here's conversation details. So we're taking the some simple prompting. And what I did was went to their website and scraped their website by literally dragging like you would normally drag to copy and paste. Took the information from the hours, took the information from the pastries, what they had on the product page, and put it here as conversation details. And uh, I'm going to hit save. And so we did that for Miss Call Text Back and for Quick Chat Back. So I was able to show them what it would look like live. Now with Botmock, you can take a copy a link or you can embed it. So imagine if you have a funnel page in your SaaS account, and that funnel page has your logo and everything, and you can just embed You can just take this embed code and you can put it on that funnel page and send people that branded funnel page of yours as your logo. But then they see a a mock-up, live mock-up of their website with the AI bot on it. You can also, I'm just going to do a link, copy link. Um, Let me pull up a 
page. And let me show you what that looks like. So here we go. So this is what the, they saw. And actually, they didn't see it on a desktop. I had it on my phone. So I was like, here you go. This is what I was talking about. And they interacted with it live. So we're going to pop it up. Hey, this is Emma. How can I help you? I'm going to say, I hear you're a new bakery in town. I'll just stop right there. And what I, the reason I'm showing you this is because um, we need to set up funnel for each client. No, you do not, Christine. Um, what, what this is, shows them is this bridges the gap between you telling people, you know, if they're problem aware, like, oh, I need customers, I need engagement and so forth. And you're like, yeah, hey, we can do it with AI. They're like, I don't know about the AI. This helps them visualize how it can help them, right? So as you can see, the bot says, hey, yeah, we are the new kids on the block. Our pastries are quite a stir. They're seriously delicious. Have you had any chance to try any yet? Say, no, I was going to. What do you have, right? Oh my gosh, you're in for a treat. We've got some seriously yummy stuff. Our butter croissants are to die for et cetera, et cetera. So you can see like the bot is, and so imagine your prospect seeing this and going, wow, this is amazing. Now all of a sudden they're, you're not trying to sell them like this is, is doing it for you. So I'm gonna say, uh, what's your favorite? What's your, what's your seller or most popular? You're taking questions. Go right ahead. So you put all this information into bot mockups, hmm? but you're selling go high level doing the Right, because AI, this is right? just the demo. What bot mockups does is bot mockups helps you sell the system that that's built inside a high level. So like bot mockups doesn't have oh. you know missed call text back all that stuff. This is just um, right. Yeah. So if you if you show them this, mm -hmm. the real implementation might have a little bit different answer. It's not going to be the same. So if you do the exact same thing here versus high level, correct. And okay, just wanted to understand. Correct. It makes sense. You're absolutely correct, but I can also tell you if we run through this exactly again, it's also not going to have the same answer because ChatGPT sure. or Anthropic or you know they're all answering not scripted but via however it does it large language model bullet points whatever. So that's that's what I would say to that. And then also Sean asked because both are using GPT. Actually, it, interesting. I guess high levels using GPT. I don't really know what high levels using because they probably have tiered stuff. I can tell you that Jeff over at Bot Mockups is using Anthropic as his first layer, but he's layered the other ones in. So in the event that there's an issue with Anthropic, ChatGPT picks up. And if that there's an issue, Bard picks up or however they, whatever they all are. So he, he, and he's made it where this is all within Bot Mockups. So you don't have to worry about APIs or anything like that dropping. So when you're presenting this, it's clean and simple and easy. Anyway, you, you get the idea on this. Let me show you now. Let's say we were looking at Miss Call text back. Share, copy a link. I'm gonna go here and we'll just change this up. So now you can show people what Miss Call text back will look like on someone's phone. Hey, this is Emma, creme de la creme. Sorry, Mr. Call. How you? So someone clicks on this and I say, I was wondering what your hours are. So the bot has, and again, there was no elaborate prompting here. I scraped their website. I put it in the box mockups thing. We've got more coming in, right? Hey, no worries. We're open most days, seven to two. The only day we're closed is Tuesday. Anything specific? Yeah, you're open to grab or cruffin, send a flyer shelf. I'll say, what is a cruffin? Because I didn't know, but now I do. But let's see if AI knows what a cruffin is. Oh my gosh, you haven't tried our cruffin? You're in for treat. It's like, imagine if a cinnamon roll and a croissant had a delicious baby. <laughs> That's our cruffin. Flaky on the outside, soft and gooey inside, and that's all the cinnamony goodness. It's our signature pastry. I mean, how awesome is that? You think an employee's answering that way? Anyway, so it's very cool. So that's um I won't go any further on backup mockups. It's it's really cool. If you want to know more about it, I'll put a link in here for you to see it. Uh, I'll say you can do all all kinds of mockups. You can do Instagram mockups, Facebook mockups, live chat. Right, so there web chat and SMS. I think Jeff's doing some deals or some pre holiday deals. Answer me this, was it help? Let me stop sharing my page. Seeing the workflows that were created for conversational AI, does that, and, and putting it in the custom values, is that helpful? Does that simplify things for you? It was very helpful. Hey, thanks Dutch. Uh, that was great. Love seeing the workflows. So by the way, 
Diana, Miss Diana made those workflows, just so you know. She's the real superstar here. I'm actually going to steal that idea and add it to the snapshot where we have a form so we can, people can, uh, if they have a client, get idea. That is a great idea. Who else has idea? Uh, so let me tell you this as well. In in our group, in our community, Prolific SaaS, we're, we keep loading things in there. And if you're a part of the group, then you get the snapshot and the the bot prompting guide and and all the other things. If you're an affiliate of mine, then you get that as well. So if you're considering, well, I didn't mean to make this for a sales pitch, but since you're here, I might as well. Would it be okay if I if I show you something I'm working on for, uh, what do you call it? Black Friday? Would it be okay if I showed you something about that? Oh, yeah. Love to see yeah. that. Let me show you this. By the way, I see some faces on here that I haven't seen in a while. And you know who you are? It's great to have you here. Great to see you. Uh, all right, so I'm going to get rid of bot mockups. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to give people a deal for $9.97, and here's what they get. They're going to get the Prolific SaaS AI Playbook course, which takes you through everything step by step by step. The Prolific SaaS AI wins snapshot, so it's not just the custom values and the AI workflows, but it's all the other workflows that we have, appointment confirmations, reminders, all the admin stuff that I show you, all the different kinds of reviews, database reactivations, all the stuff, six months in the prolific SaaS community, which we charge in, which is $197 a month, but you would get it for free. And if you're an affiliate, you get it for free. A white label AI SaaS demo, already done, it's white label. You have it, a demo funnel done for you, set up audit, Bot building checklist, onboarding checklist, and then let me see them up here too. A white label ebook for AI local businesses. So essentially a lead that you can give to the local businesses where you're not really selling them anything. You're providing them value for how AI can help local businesses so they can have their own epiphany of, of being problem aware and solution aware. A white label video AI for local businesses, uh, the roadmap to 100 for customers, a revenue generating calculator that we have, the AI agency, well, the a agency flowchart, a Google business optimization guide, and then how to create AI demos uh, that sell. It's not listed on here, but we also created a bot prompting guide. Um, I said it right before this call to, I thought, well, if we're going to show this to people on the call, and if you want to grab it, We'll give you a hundred uh, a coupon where you can save a hundred bucks. Just so you know that typically the snapshot, some of the other things sell for a couple thousand dollars by themselves. This way you can have it for eight ninety seven. Just don't tell anyone because we're gonna do nine ninety seven at Black Friday, or you can do it in four different installments. If you are interested, there you go. Nope. So in the communities in prolific SaaS community, so you'll get to see these are all the course things that are in there. So you're gonna get all of these as well. High level courses that we've curated for you. Roadmap to 100, AC flowchart, best of local city awards, revenue generating calculator. <laughs> we've got the, the snapshot, the AI chat bot prompting guide. There's a coupon code. So if you're interested in grabbing all that stuff, a deal that we've never offered before, go ahead and grab it. We would love to have you as a part of the community. If you would like to join the community itself, it is um, 197 a month for the learnings. There's also weekly group coaching calls. Something else I'm gonna do for Black Friday is I'm probably gonna make that like 97 bucks a month, either for a limited time or maybe grandfather you in if someone gets that. So if you are interested in that, we haven't even set that up yet to, to give you a discount. So who's using AI in their business right now? Here's a question, Ms. Cindy is. Okay, so uh, Dutch Texan has your hand raised. Do you go by Dutch? Mark. Mark. Okay. All right, Mark. What's your question? So I'm an immigrant, so nobody can pronounce my last name here, so just go by Dutch now. Um, I got a question. The community, is that free for all the people that signed up under you? Correct. So if you're an affiliate of mine, thanks for clarifying. If you're an affiliate of mine, then you get access to the community for free. So if you're not already in there, send us a message. Let's make sure and get you in there. You get all the trainings as well as the weekly group coaching calls and then a part of a really cool community that's just growing. All right. Thank you. Who else has a question? Greg looks like he might want to have a question. Hey, how, you doing, how, how do you access the community? You know, is there an address to, like, just to to join? I will send you. Uh, there is an address, but we don't have. Um, right now, we're just like manually letting people in that are our affiliates. Are you one of my affiliates, Greg? 
I'm not. Okay, so I'm gonna just make a note here. I'm gonna upgrade to the full, you know, 497. So you I'll are, be, or you're. I'm, or you're I, I haven't yet, you know. So I do want to upgrade probably soon, you know. So. I mean, for what it's worth, and we're we're not there yet on the the Black Friday stuff, but um, you know, like most people are gonna do who are doing affiliate stuff in the high level community, they're gonna put together offers. Right. Hilo's gonna have a lot for it, you know, they do every year, and then I'm gonna package it with my stuff. Just like other people who are savvy about it are going to say, upgrade using my link, you get the high level deal, plus you get my stuff. So I'm going to, I'll do the same for you. Upgrade using my link. We'll make sure that you get the high level deals as well as, you know, I'm going to, the stuff that you all saw today, I'm going to wrap that in as well. So you'll get my uh, the snapshots. You'll get to be a part of the community. And as long as you're an active affiliate and, you know, don't cancel high level, then you know, you'll get that coaching in the community for free forever. So it's, you know, or as long as you're a paying high level member. Um, send me the link, but um, if I choose to just join the community and take your take advantage of the $97 a month, you know, how yeah. do I, how do I do that? Yep. So I'm going to do right now, let's say Greg. Um, so yep. so what yep. we'll do, here's what I would do for you and any, anyone else who's interested. I'll let you in now at the $97 a month. And then if you do upgrade using my link, then um, then we'll just then you stop paying ninety seven dollars. Then you'll just be in for free. Okay. Does anyone else have any questions? I don't know if you all know, but we recently had our SaaS acquired, which was kind of cool. We uh, grew our SaaS on high level over the last four years, and then just had it acquired recently for seven figures. So that was a pretty cool milestone. We went through a lot of ups and downs and learning lessons along the way. So. I'm happy to answer any questions you might have about that as well. So, the, yes, I do have a question. Hello, I, Hello, yeah. Sorry, I haven't been joining the group, but uh, okay. I've been doing a lot of traveling too. Yeah. So, um, you gave us a, um, you did an amazing automation from onboarding and process flow. And uh, at that time, it was like really overwhelming for me. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Yeah. I think you gave us a snapshot too. I, I was wondering, do you have a updates to that snapshot i have to look back and see when you got it because we, we have continued to evolve our snapshots there was one that was really involved and then there was a more simple version so let's talk mm. about that offline okay uh, so make sure that we get you the one that would be appropriate for you um, that's why i joined today because i'm like i think i'm ready for that uh, automation i wasn't ready oh that's yet. great it That's was great. Too much for me. Yeah, but, uh, so, um, but it's great. I've been checking um, ClickUp, all those pro project management mm -hmm. tools, but you very much, very well combined everything and go high level. So if somebody has that, they don't need to go pay for ClickUp or Monday. Com, yeah. And that's what I'm trying, I'm, I'm getting from, from what I saw so far. So thank okay. you so much. Um, of I'll course. I just want to let you know before you leave, whether, and this is for everyone, know that AI is here to stay mm -hmm. and you're going to have to learn it one way or another. If you want to offer this and you want to be competitive, you're going to need to to know it and learn it. Thank you so much, Lorita. It's great to see you or and see you, but great to know that you're here. Um, I'm going to tell you this. It's kind of like workflows. So mm. I was slow to respond to workflows. Since we started mm. with high level, we were using campaigns and triggers. And again, this is, I'm using myself as an example for everyone. Mm. We've got campaigns and triggers really dialed in. And when high level came about and said, oh, we're moving to workflows. I was like, mm -mm, <laughs> no, because at that time we had over a hundred customers, mm. uh, 100, 120, 130 ish, all dialed in campaigns and triggers. And we, I did not want, like you had to pull me dragging mm. and screaming to change to workflows because it took me a while to figure out campaigns and triggers. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to have to learn something new. Ultimately, we moved to workflows. Once we did, we really understood the power of workflows and we were able to do more for our clients. Um, maybe that's not as a great example of conversational AI, but it's going that way and it's going that way fast. And the agencies who learn to use it to help their clients get wins are the agencies that are going to see success faster Everything from this point forward is lead with AI. When you think about all the SaaS core stuff, reviews, missed call text back, appointment setting, funnels, all of it, it it's, it's all core stuff. If business owners aren't using, they're going to be left behind. Now it's AI is accelerating those things. 
And so, uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Aline says, all right, Carlene says, you started with Zappy Chat. Who did you end with? So our SaaS business, the Cairo SaaS business that got acquired, we had our Cairo clients on Zappy Chat, which was, you know, we had a great experience with them. But since that was acquired, they got our Zappy Chat account. Like it all went with the acquiring company that acquired that. I still have a lot of love for Zappy Chat. I'm betting on a high level because I've already seen what they have done with the other feature sets where they've started on their skateboard model. And uh, again, let's talk about workflows, right? When they started with workflows, kind of like active campaign, they were doing certain things, beta things, and then they got better and got better. And if you look at where workflows is today and all the actions that you can do and all the things you can do compared to workflows a year ago, two years ago, it's so much better. Well, they're gonna end the same thing with funnels and the same thing with websites and all that. So I've already seen them do that. It's gonna be the same with AI and they're putting AI at the forefront of everything. And you've got the AI employee and voice AI and all that wrapped up in high level. So for the stuff that I'm doing like currently and going forward, I'm all in with high levels. They have AI agents, they have funnel AI, uh, of course they have voice AI. Let's see if changes are made. Um, marketing materials so that for us to promote high level SaaS to clients or we just come up with that ourselves make our own promotion so there are certain things that that i do have yeah that uh, like i have a label i have a white label ebook to give to local businesses where you can change your you know business name mm -hmm. out and make it like it's your white label ebook i also have a white label ai video for local businesses that you can as well make for you. Also, if you happen to be one of my affiliates or, you know, pay for my snapshot. And so you're going to get white label, like landing pages and white label funnels that you can use as well. Um, and then also a high level has some, some great stuff. So it, it, it really depends on what your offer is, uh, as, as well. Um, if that makes sense. So the promo materials is most people are, you know, kind of on their own on what promo materials they're going to have to promote to clients because different people are going to have different offers that they promote. Like someone might just promote missed call text back. Someone might do a series of core SaaS items. Some people might have a hybrid offer where they're doing lead gen, where they, where they might use Upex to use lead gen. And so without knowing what yeah, it kind of varies. individual offer. Mm -hmm. But yeah. like I said, okay. regarding the AI stuff, we are, we're putting together, we, we already have white label stuff to put in front of local business offer, uh, I'm sorry, owners, so they can have uh, some educational value, get some educational value while also having the epiphany of, oh, yeah, this is how people are searching for my business as well. And when someone does make a phone call to my business and we don't answer, what happens? Like, yeah, we should be engaging with them. Um, so yeah, let me with, see. With that bot mock, I had that question you did with the bakery and you had spoken about setting that up on the funnel. So now for mm -hmm. the next client, do we just use so the here's, same here's funnel what you do. and you use the exact same funnel? That's right. So okay. all you do is, and you can do it Erase a couple different them. ways. You can have the same one and just choose a different embed, or you could just continue to duplicate that funnel. Like if you wanted to keep different ones, you could duplicate that funnel and just change the slug and send people that, if that makes sense. Yeah, I think so. I was okay. just envisioning having to set up a separate funnel site for each client. And if then, if it wouldn't make just sense to set up an account, but yeah, I see the, the mock site would be better yeah. without having to go through the AP right. phone numbers. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Got let's it. see. Yeah. Bob mockups is an amazing. So like people haven't realized yet all the things they can do with, with when you really get the handle, you're like, wow, they haven't realized yet how to sell it to customers. And, um, when a customer can visualize it, that's when they have the, yeah, Epiphany. I would like, yeah. I would like to have this. Um, I hope that you all got some value here. If you have any questions, uh, reach out during messenger. I do have a free Facebook group, road to 100 Facebook group. I'm sure some of you are in it. Uh, if you're not, feel free to jump into the Road to 100 Facebook group. If you have any questions, reach out via Messenger, or you can email level up at prolificsass.com, and myself or someone from my team will get back to you.
That's all I got. Have a great weekend. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you got something out of it, um, let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Of course, I would love it if you would subscribe uh, and give this a like if it was helpful. I'll see you on the next video. I have a lot more coming your way. Cheers.